Hi, good morning friends and welcome to Yoga for Kids and Moms part 28. Today is a class that is just focused on flexibility, so we'll be going into nice deep stretches to open up our upper body and our lower body. So if you're ready to get started, let's begin. Let's start where we are in an easy cross-legged position. Place your palms on top of your knees to face up towards the sky. Closing your eyes for a moment, take a deep breath in, inhale and exhale release and let the breath out on your next inhale reach the arms out towards the side and up towards the sky keep your arms up with your palms together so lengthening and reaching your fingertips reach 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 even more making sure your spine is nice and straight your chest is open and exhale taking our right hand on our left knee twisting and looking behind our left shoulder sitting nice and tall and twisting from your belly button breathing in and out and slowly release inhale taking the arms back up to center exhale opposite side left hand on right knee looking back over your shoulder making sure you're seated nice and tall and making sure you inhale and exhale through this twist good and then slowly reaching the arms back up to center Exhale, folding forward, reaching your chest and letting your heart melt towards your mat. Reaching your fingertips as far forward as you can and making sure that your sit bones are grounded on your mat. So feeling a nice stretch through your neck and through your shoulders. And then slowly rolling your spine all the way up, taking the soles of your feet into butterfly pose. Place your hands to hold on the outer edges of your feet so you can sit up nice and tall. Open your heart and your shoulders. Inhale and exhale. Lead with the crown of your head and fold forward. Holding your butterfly pose. Going deep into the hips. Closing your eyes and just relax your shoulders. And slowly taking your spine all the way back up. Flip your legs behind you into a tabletop position. So now we're in all fours. And let's inhale, drop the belly, look up into cow, and exhale, rounding out the spine into cat. Inhale again, drop the belly, look in front of you. And exhale, rounding out your spine, chin to chest. Two more times. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. And exhale, round chin to your chest. Last one. Inhale, dropping the belly, look in front of you. And exhale, round up the spine, look towards your belly button. Inhale, coming back to neutral. Go ahead and flip onto your left knee as you point your right toes out towards the side, taking your right arm overhead towards the front of your mat. So we're in a supported side plank pose, opening up our side body, taking a little back bend as you open up your chest here reaching and letting that elbow extend, reaching towards the front of your mat, and then slowly coming out back into tabletop position. Sit back with your knees together, child's pose. Relax your forehead on your mat, letting your hips fall back to your heels, and slowly come back into tabletop position, stacking shoulders over wrists, coming onto the other side, supported side plank. As you point those left toes towards the back, reach the left arm over your head towards the front of your mat. And now we go into the left side body, stretching it out, feeling that nice stretch through the side of your back, through the obliques, maybe taking a little back bend here as you open up your heart, let your head fall back. And just let your body feel into the stretch. Slowly release, come on out, back into tabletop position, and then shift forward into upward facing dog as we lift our thighs off the mat, and exhale, keeping the toes tucked, downward facing dog. Inhale, moving through this, upward dog as you lift the thighs off, and exhale, keep your toes tucked, down dog. Two more times. Inhale, look up, and exhale, downward dog. 
So we're moving the spine, lubricating the joints in our back. One last one as you push back and untuck your toes, downward facing dog, beginning to walk out your feet one at a time as you straighten out the leg, letting the opposite heel come closer to your mat, making sure you push all of your weight back so you take the pressure off your arms and let your head shake it out and be really heavy so that you can feel a stretch through your neck and your upper body. Your fingers are nice and spread apart, making sure all 10 fingers are fully gripped to your mat. Hold your downward dog still, push your weight back. Inhale, come back forward into upward facing dog, lifting your thighs off the mat. And then we'll come all the way down onto our belly into Sphinx Pose, so we're on our forearms, stacking your shoulders over your wrist, lift up through your chest, and just start to sway your hips side to side, loosening up your lower back here. And then we'll come all the way onto our belly, hug your right leg, your right heel into your glute, so into your butt cheek here, getting a stretch through your right leg and then taking it to the other side and bending the left leg, hugging the left heel to your butt cheek. So stretching out the left thigh and quadricep. And then we'll come into two variations you can do. Either grabbing both legs and coming into a full bow pose, or the second variation is to come into a chin stand, opening the front of your body strengthening the upper body if you're in a chin stand and just feel that expansion through your chest slowly release the legs out coming back into upward facing dog as you push the mat away from your body and exhale push your weight back downward facing dog inhale as you slowly walk your feet all the way to the front of your mat standing forward fold feet together. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold it down. And just taking a forward fold, grabbing your opposite elbows, taking a rag doll side to side as you sway your back. So feeling good into this nice back stretch, letting your head be really heavy here. And just make sure that the weight is even in your feet. Place your hands down on your mat and roll up for four, three, two, one. Roll the shoulders down away from the ears. Place your feet together here, arms along the side of the body in mountain pose. Let's inhale, bend the knees as we reach the arms up towards the sky. And exhale, we'll swan dive forward, lead with your chest. Exhale. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, stepping both feet back. Plank position as you hold your plank. Exhale, shift forward, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, open your heart. And exhale, push your weight back, downward facing dog. Inhale as you reach the right leg up towards the sky, three-legged dog. And exhale, let's flip our dog into wild thing. As you reach the right arm over your head, towards the front of your mat, lifting your hips up higher, feeling a nice opening through the front of your body as you strengthen your arms and slowly coming out of wild thing, back into three-legged dog. And we'll bring our right elbow to our right knee into pigeon or coming into a full split and taking your right leg completely forward. So either way, you get a really nice opening through your hips and your glutes. If you're in a split, try to see if you can fold forward. If you're in your pigeon, see if you can reach your arms up towards the sky to grow even taller. And just allowing yourself to melt in this pose, to sit even deeper, lengthening our muscles, creating nice, lean, long muscles here as we stretch it out. So maybe we have that goal of reaching towards the splits. We want to make sure that we practice either variation to get towards that goal. 
Exhale, releasing hands in front of you, stepping back into downward facing dog. Just letting your weight push back. Inhale, lift your left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the left knee, flip your dog into wild thing other side. As you reach your arm up and over your head, looking towards that top hand, really lifting up even higher, feeling that nice opening. And slowly coming back out, three-legged dog as you point the left toes up towards the sky. Exhale, taking left knee to left elbow into pigeon or taking your full split as you extend the left leg forward. Making sure that either variation you take, your hips are squared nice and forward. And inhale, you'll either fold forward in your split or you'll reach your arms up in your pigeon pose. So we're opening our posture here. Going into that left hip. Just breathe, relax. Allow the breath to move through that left hip. Allow your mind to relax. Exhale, slowly release. Stepping back into downward facing dog. And let's drop our forearms to the mat, interlacing our fingers together. Place your feet together into a dolphin pose. So we're piking our hips up to the sky, letting our tailbone reach up, feeling a nice stretch through our body as we strengthen our arms and our shoulders, sculpting that upper body. And just holding the dolphin as you let your heart melt even deeper. Good, and then slowly placing your hands back down into downward facing dog, walking your feet to the front of your mat, sitting down onto your tailbone, cross your left leg over your right, taking a seated spinal twist. We'll take our right arm on the outer edge of the left leg, Look over your left shoulder behind you. Sit up nice and tall. So starting to speed up our metabolism as we get rid of any negative toxins in our body. Slowly release out of your twist and taking it to the other side. So taking the right leg over the left as you bend the left knee, left arm on the outer edge of the right leg, looking over your shoulder. Sit nice and tall, growing your neck nice and long here. Exhale, twisting even deeper. And slowly coming out of your twist, placing the soles of your feet on your mat in front of you, straighten your legs, and open up as you pick up your hips, upward facing plank, lifting up and pushing the mat away as you let your head fall back behind your head and slowly dropping the hips. Arms along the front of your body as you sit nice and tall and we roll back onto our back, one vertebrae at a time, reaching the arms up and over our head. And take your, grab your right wrist with your left hand, coming into banana pose as we point our toes towards the left side, arms reaching towards the left. So we feel a stretch through the right side of our body. Breathe it out. And banana pose, other side. So grabbing your left wrist with your right hand, reaching your toes and your hands to the right side of the mat, stretching through the left side now. Good, and then slowly release, taking the arms and the legs in Shavasana. Our final stage of relaxation Letting your body just allow yourself to melt deeper and deeper towards your mat. Not worrying about the physical body, just keeping the body in stillness. Relaxing your face, relax your jaw, relaxing your arms and your legs, letting your feet fall out towards the sides.
yourself to find movement as you wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes one at a time, feeling all 10 fingers and toes move only. And then start to move your side, side to side. Placing the soles of your feet on your mat, reaching the arms up over your head and rolling onto your side fetal position, pushing your weight up and meeting me in a cross-legged, easy position, sitting nice and tall, keeping your eyes closed, your palms are open in front of you. Inhale as we open and reach the arms out towards the side, lengthen the fingers, Exhale, hands to your heart. And again, we inhale, reach the arms out and up. Palms, take them down to your heart, thanking yourself for taking this practice for your health, your well-being. I hope you enjoy this kids and moms yoga class. Subscribe to Yana Yoga and leave me a comment and a like. And I hope you enjoyed all my love and light. Namaste.